If your idea of a New York City home is small, think smaller. Yeah. No, it's not a hotel room. This is a fully furnished apartment. At just 300 square feet, it's enough to make even some city dwellers feel claustrophobic. But the developers say this is the future of affordable urban living. Small space does not necessarily have to mean a degradation in quality of life. Christopher Bledsoe co-founded the company that designed Carmel Place. It's New York's first micro apartment building. The city made an exception to a rule that requires new apartments be at least 400 square feet, and it's proposing to change the zoning rule altogether. Advocates have been pushing for years for more affordable housing, especially for single people. According to real estate firm MNS, the average price for a Manhattan studio apartment in November was more than $2,900, a one-bedroom more than $4,000. These micro-apartment rents are between $2,600 and $3,000 a month. Affordable units based on income can go for as little as $950. Space in a unit is just one element, one attribute that goes into defining the overall living experience. Builders have employed some design tricks to make the small space work. A bed folds down from the wall over the couch. A clever desk expands into a dining table. By sacrificing, say, 200 square feet in your studio, you can also get other uh, trade-offs that work to your advantage, like housekeeping or Wi-Fi. And in this case, we're actually providing weekly visits from personal butler service. Sacrificing space for the convenience of living in the big city. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.